All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about credit cards and their check digit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, you have a credit card example. Now, this information is just extra information. I'm not necessarily going to uh, test you on this, but if whatever your credit card starts with, this is what it could be. So, like, for example, if your credit card starts with a three, it could be an American Express, Diners Club, Carte Blanche, I guess. Uh, if it starts with a four, it could be a, it, it's going to be a Visa card. If it's, it starts with a five, it's a MasterCard. And if it starts with a six, it's a Discover card. All right, so that's just kind of like extra information. But anyway, from a mathematical standpoint, the credit card makes up 16 digits. All right. And inside of these 16 digits, there's actually a small little algorithm that we're going to discuss. All right. Now, if you want to see what makes up the credit card, like the little history, the makeup, whatever, then just pay attention to this down here. Um, the issuer, the issuer ID number, account number. And uh, there you go. So I'm going to let you look at that on your own time. But let's go ahead and just dive into the actual algorithm of a credit card. All right. Now, because of the fact that I need a little more room to write, I'm going to rewrite this credit card number um, in a bigger format. So, one second. All right, there you go. All right, I don't know. I told y'all to hold on. I could easily just pause the video. But all right. So what I did was I took uh, Jason uh, Jason's credit card and just made it a little bigger. Just it'll give us a little more room to write. All right. Now here's the algorithm, and it's four steps. Okay. So, the first step is to add all the odd position digits together, okay? That's our first step. Now, the question is, like, what the heck is an odd position digits? Well, odd position is, like, the first number, the third number. So, number four, the first number, that is an odd position digit. That's an odd position digit. Five, the eight is an odd position. Now, remember, it's not odd numbers, it's odd position, like first place, third place, fifth place, uh, seventh place. I believe that's ninth place. That's 11th place. Notice how basically I'm just skipping. I'm starting with the first number and skipping every other one. Now, once you identify what they are, you are going to add them all up. So I'm going to add them all up here. So four plus... Zero plus five plus, uh, let's see, eight plus one plus zero again plus two plus eight. All right. So when I add all that up, I think I can do it by hand, but I'm probably going to mess up given the video. All right. That ends up being 28. Okay. Now, it also says multiply by two. So you're going to take the sum you're going to times that by 2, and you're going to get 56. So what is the total step of step 1, or what is the total for step 1? You would say it's 56. All right. So once you get 56, and let me just go ahead and type it in here, you're going to pause for a second. All right. So that 56 gets put on hold. All right. Now, let me go ahead and tell you, step 2 is the more challenging step because it's just weird. It's just straight out weird, and that is using the digits from step one, determine how many digits are actually more than four. So in other words, what the, the numbers that we highlighted from step one, remember everything in yellow here, we've got to then analyze those digits to find out which ones are more than four, which, it, which means which one are in the five to nine range. All right, so five to nine range. Now, it's as easy as looking, okay, this first number four, is that five to nine? No, it's not. We're not going to do anything with that. Zero, nope. Oh, five, oh, that works. I'm just going to check it for now. This eight, yep, this eight is. One, nope. This zero, nope. This two, nope. And, but this eight there is. Now, was challenging about this question is that it's so easy it's difficult so how many how many digits were in the five to nine range you don't add them up you just count one two three there was a total of three so we're going to say the total for step two is three 
Now, lastly, add all the even position digits together. Basically what that means is all the numbers that you skipped, just add them up. All right, so that means all the all the numbers like that two, that three, that six, that seven, everything that you haven't messed with, go ahead and add it up. So let's see, um, two plus three, let's say that's five, plus six, that's 11, plus seven, that is 18, plus zero, still 18, plus nine, I believe that's 27, um, plus one is 28, and then three is 31, all right? So all the other numbers added together is 31. Now, lastly, what is the, or I'm sorry, step four, add the total for each step. So that means I'm going to add 56, 3, 31. All right, so 56 plus 3 plus 31, when I add them all together, I believe that's going to give me 100 even, plus 3 plus 31. Oh, wow, sorry, 90. Gave us 90. Now, it says, is this a valid credit card? And the answer is yes. The reason why I know the answer is yes is because, again, very simple. Don't miss this. It's because the last number of our digit, I'm sorry, the last number of our total was a zero. All right? So if the total is a multiple of 10, it is a valid, you, uh, I'm sorry, a valid credit card. All right. So again, what is the total? It's 90. 90 is a multiple of 10 or either way it in or even easier. It ends in zero. It is a valid credit card. Now let's play the what if game. What if you added all this up and it ended up being, let's just say 91. Well, 91 is not a multiple of 10, or in other words, keep it simple, it doesn't end in zero. So this would not be yes, this would be a flat out no. It would not be valid. All right? So, next question. Brian works for Liberty Bank and Trust. As an account manager, his client, John Smith, started a new account. Brian created the new credit card. Answer the following questions regarding the credit card. All right, so using the credit card procedure, so again, the credit card procedure, step one is to starting with the odd position digits. Now, this is a little smaller. I'm just going to, maybe I can do a highlighter here. All right, so I'm going to start with four. I'm going to start with seven. I'm going to start with three, or not start with, but five. There. Five and nine. Remember, step one is to add all those numbers up. And times it by two. So four plus seven plus three plus five plus zero plus seven plus five plus nine times up by two. I get 80. So for step one, I'll just type it just to make uh, everything neat here. All right. So step one ended up being 40. All right. Now, for step two. Now, remember, step two is the weird one, and that is the numbers that we chose, It which one is in the five to seven range? Okay, so which one is in the five to seven range? All right, that's always going to be the weird one. So we'll do this in red here. All right, four, no. Four is not in the five to seven range. I'm sorry, five to nine range. Seven is. Three, no. Five, yes. No. Seven, yes. Five, yes. Nine, yes. One, two, three, four, five. So that means for step two, it's five. For step three, I add up all the numbers that I skipped originally, which means this two, this five, this one, this six, this three, this two, this four, and three. Add it all up. It ends up being 26. And then lastly, for step four, very simply, add up all the numbers from all the other steps. So 40 plus 5 plus 26. That gives me 111. Now, remember the rule from, uh, you know, five seconds ago, and that is if the number is not a multiple of 10, which means 
In other words, does the total end in a zero? It's not a valid credit card. So you'd say because of the fact that it's 111, it is no. So it is not a valid credit card. All right. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is the actual check digit. Okay. So the check digit is, let me go back to our first screen. Let me clean this up a little bit. All right. So at the very bottom here, you see the last number is the check digit. Okay. So the check digit is the number that makes the rest of these numbers accurate. Okay. So when you're doing the credit, when you're doing these procedures, if you have a, a correct check digit, if the check digit is correct, it's what validates the rest of the numbers, which another mean, what means it makes all the totals add up to zero or add up to a number that equals zero. So what that means is like, for example, in this question right here, someone should be getting fired right here. Someone should be getting fired because of the fact there's no way that this last number, which is the check digit, should be a three. All right, because the reason it shouldn't be a three is because everything added up to 111. The check digit is made so that would not happen. Okay, now you might be scratching your saying, what, what the heck are you talking about? Well, let's look at this. All right, so for this MasterCard, what we have here is the check digit, which is unknown. Okay, so let's say you're in charge of finding the check digit. You're in charge of making sure that that number, which we don't know, makes the rest of these numbers valid. Okay, so what you would do is the exact same thing as you would do with all the other, with all the steps. All right, so again, step one, taking the first number, skipping every other one, adding them up, and then timesing them by two. So step one equals 52. Okay, it added up to 26. I doubled it, 52. All right, step two, remember that's the crazy one. That's the one that says any number that's in the five to nine range. So let's see, five, yes, that's one. No, seven, yes, that's two. No, three, no, one, no. Three, no, th five, yes. So there's a total of three digits. Now, when it comes to finding the check digit, notice, or, well, I'm sorry, when it comes to step three, sorry, I jumped ahead. Step three is you're adding all the numbers that you didn't mess with, all right? So everything that you skipped. Now, you might be asking, wait a minute, we have an X here. How can I add X into that? Well, this is what you would do when you're finding the check digit. I need you to almost like forget about it for a second. All right, so when you're finding the check digit, I need you to almost forget that it's there and just add all the other numbers up. All right, so that means adding this four up, this two, this five, this two, this four, this two, and this four, okay? So when we do that, step three ends up being, let's see, step th three ends up being 23. Okay, which means step four, when you add everything up, adds up to being 78. Now, here's the thing. All these numbers from the first number to the 15th number, all of these numbers add up to 78. Okay, this check digit that we don't know is the number that makes 78 into valid into a valid total. Now remember, in order for something to be valid, it has to, the total has to end in a zero. So think to yourself, if I'm sitting on 78, how many more, how many more numbers do I have to add to it to make it the next valid number, which is 80? And you would say, well, I, I just have to add two. If I added two to my total, then it would add up to get to 80, and then it would be valid. So whatever you add with, that would be the check digit. So the check digit in this example would be two. So your credit card number would be, or the last number of the credit card would be two.
because that's what would make this total valid. Now, you might be saying, whoa, okay, hold on, let's try one more, all right? So let's try one more. Again, doing steps one, two, three, four, again, step one, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up a little bit. Step one is equal to 76. Step two equals five. Step three would equal 31. So that means step four, I don't know why I keep on pressing that number, or that key there, step four adds up to 112. Okay, all right, so we have an incomplete credit card number here because of the fact that we have 15, but we don't have a credit card. We don't have our check digit. So all of this added together, the first 15 numbers added up to 112. Well, what has to be added to 112 to make it a valid credit card? Well, if I'm sitting on 112, I know that the next valid total would be 120, which means I would have to add eight. So the check digit would have to be eight because I would have to add that to the total. So you'd say the check digit would be eight. All right, so there you have the check digit. You have the credit card algorithm. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.